Okay, welcome. Today we're going to be looking at connecting Bubble to an external uh, SQL database. This comes up quite a lot for us when we're working with startups. Often they've got um, legal reasons for wanting the data to be stored in certain geographical location or with certain security. This might be HIPAA, this might be GDPR or something like that. Um, and so Bubble supports this option uh, using what's called the Bubble SQL connector, which is a plugin. So firstly, we're going to talk about um, setting up an external database, um, and then we're going to use the plugin to connect to our external database. That's kind of lesson one. Um, and then we'll do further videos to explain how, how you think about using it. So firstly, we decided to create the database um, with a company, it's a cloud services company uh, called DigitalOcean. There's lots out there, you could do it with Amazon, Google, etc. Lots of um, providers out there to host a SQL database on the internet for you. So we went with DigitalOcean, used them before for various things. Um, it's pretty simple. So all we did, we've already got it set up here, as you can see, but uh, let's just show you how easy it is to connect a new one. Create an account with DigitalOcean, put in your credit card details, um, go to create, you've got the choice of what you want to create. In our case, we want to do a database. You select database, databases, and it'll load a page. There we go. You can then choose where you want it. Um, so, for example, if you're in Europe, you've got a choice of Amsterdam, London, or Frankfurt. Um, obviously, in Asia, you've got a couple of choices. In the US, you've got a few choices, and one in Canada as well. So, you can decide where you, you want your data to be um, based. Then, next choice is what type of database do you want it to be? Mongo, Postgres, um, MySQL, or Redis, or Redis. Um, in our case, I've set up a MySQL one. Um, and then you can choose the size of your server and how much power it is, and it starts at 15 bucks, goes up to 60 bucks, etc. Um, and it's as easy as that. Click Create Database cluster down the bottom here, and that will go ahead and create one. But as if by magic, here's one that I did earlier. We go back to our um, workspace page. You can see I've created one here. So if I click on it, it'll go through it, through to it. Um, and this is set up as a MySQL database, and it's ready for us to go. Um, the uh, details or the connection details are shown here. Um, so this is the kind of uh, location or URL, if you will, of where the database sits. Um, here's the port that it's on. Here's the kind of database name. And um, in this case, it requires SSL uh, for security for encryption. And then it's got a username and a password. Um, DigitalOcean also provides you with like the connection string that we're going to need as well. So you can just cut and paste that and we'll use that in a minute. Um, so that's pretty simple. So this is a database that's set up. It has no tables or anything inside it, no data, no tables, etc. Um, we'll look at a future video of how we go about creating those, etc. But for the time being, we're just going to try and connect to it to prove that we've got a connection. So let's let's go back over to Bubble. So here we are inside Bubble. We've gone to plugins. We're going to go to the plugin directory by clicking add plugins. And we're just going to search for this SQL connector. So if we just type SQL, actually it's the first one that comes up. You can see it's by Bubble, installed like nearly 30,000 times. SQL database connector, click install. Done, easy as that. Uh, now let's find it in our list. It's going to be down at the bottom here somewhere. Here it is. Um, and you can see here on the right hand side, we're ready to go. It's a bit like API, um, the API plugin connector as well. So you have to add a kind of add an API, etc. In this case, we're going to add a new database connection. Um, so I click the add a new connection. I can give it a name. So in this case, it's going to be a, a database full of movies. Um, so I can put in connection name, but this really doesn't matter. It can be anything. Um, and now I select what database type this is going to be. And so you've got a choice of three. And he supports the following three, Postgres, MySQL, and Microsoft SQL. So in our case, it's a MySQL database. Um, and then I go and get from DigitalOcean that uh, long connection string, um, which is the one here. And I can grab that. And I can um, cut and paste that in to here. There we go. And then I can click test connection. See, it says connecting and now database connected. So that's it. It's as easy as that. We are connected to 
um, the database now proving that we've got a connection between the bubble and the database. Hopefully that's helpful.